dear learners in this video i will be explaining the term effective height of an antenna basically before going to start the session let us have a outline of this video first i will explain the need for effective height in radiation and explain how to calculate effective height with respect to current distribution after that i will explain the comparison of effective heights of dipole antenna when we talk about effective height of antenna it, it gives the indication of effectiveness of the radiation that means it represents the effectiveness of an antenna as a radiator or a collector of electromagnetic wave energy and also it indicates how for an antenna is effective in transmitting and receiving the electromagnetic wave energy then how to calculate effective height let us consider one example here i consider this example in this example i take dipole antenna of length l is equal to lambda by 2 and let us assume the electric field intensity e is incident on the antenna so now voltage is induced across the open circuit terminals of the antenna because of the incident of the electric field intensity so from this we can write the effective height of an antenna effective height or effective length is the ratio of induced voltage at the terminal of the receiving antenna under open circuit condition to the incident electric field intensity so now the effective height h is the ratio of v to the e where v is the induced voltage and e is the electric field intensity so from this uh, uh, we clear about that in depending upon the electric field intensity incident on the antenna it develops the voltage across the antenna terminals so from this we can uh, identify uh, the effectiveness of an antenna in transmitting in the receiving mode the unit for effective height is meter or in wavelength where this v is the induced voltage unit for induced voltage is volts unit for electric field intensity is volts per meter next i'll explain the uh, calculation of effective height based on current distribution here i am considering two examples in the first example i consider the dipole antenna with a length lambda by 2 it has the with the sinusoidal current distribution and i take the average value of sine wave is here and uh, we know that that means that value is equal to 0.64 so therefore effective height is average value into the physical length 0.64 into physical length where l is the physical length of the antenna in the second example i consider the dipole antenna with a length of lambda by 10 the current distribution is triangular current distribution so we know that in the triangular current distribution the current distribution is uniformly tapered towards the ends of the antenna when it reaches the ends the value is zero and this is the point we consider the average value the average value of triangular wave is 0.5 so from this we can calculate effective height of an antenna effective height h is equal to average value into the physical length that means h is equal to 0.5 into physical length of the antenna so from this example we know how to calculate the effective height based on the current distributions next here 
we are going to see the relation between the effective height and the aperture. So, for an antenna of radiation resistance is matched to the load, then the power delivered to the load is equal to P is equal to V squared by 4 RR. Unit for power is watts. Where this RR is the radiation resistance, already we know that the definition of radiation resistance. I explained this term in the previous video. Please kindly go through the previous video. V is equal to HE E. Effective height into electric field intensity. So, now substitute the uh, induced voltage in the equation 1 as becomes P is equal to H e squared E squared by 4 RR. In terms of the effective aperture, the same power is given by P is equal to E squared AE by Z0, where Z0 is the intrinsic impedance. For the free space, Z0 value is 125 or 377 ohms. Now, we are equating the equation 1 and 2. We will get the expression H is equal to 2 into root of RR AE by Z0. Unit for effective height is in meters. Now, we rearrange this equation for HE. We will get the expression for effective aperture. Effective aperture A is equal to HE square Z0 by 4 RR. Unit is meter squared. Now, this is the equation. It gives the relationship between the effective aperture and effective height via intrinsic impedance and the radiation resistance. So, now I hope that you uh, would clear about the term effective height and also you know how to calculate the effective height based on current distribution. Thank you.